Hi, everyone, and welcome to our IT Tech Talk today, which is focused on getting the most out of your logs for IT monitoring and troubleshooting with prescriptive guidance, out-of-the-box content, and improved workflow over legacy Splunk apps for infrastructure with Splunk IT Essentials Work and Learn. Tech Talks is a series of short webinars that are deep dives for technical practitioners. We value you, our customer, and wanna make sure that you're able to continue in your Splunk journey. Our experts help create these best practices and want you to leverage them in your daily role. And just before we dive in, um, quick reminder that we have a Q&A during the live pre presentation of this deck so feel free to drop any questions you may, may have in there. My name is Caitlin Reynolds and I'm a product marketing manager here at Splunk. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Thomas Booth. Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Thomas Booth, as Caitlin mentioned, and I'm the technical interlock director for IT operations. And I'm excited to share with you two of our products uh, that you may or may not have heard of called IT Essentials Work and Learn. We're going to, for our agenda today, we're going to provide a quick overview of those products. And then I'm going to do a really uh, short demo specifically on IT Essentials work, because what we're going to cover today is really the transition from Splunk legacy apps for infrastructure to IT Essentials work. So what is the IT Essentials series? This is a significant investment by Splunk to try to make our platform easier to adopt with prescriptive journeys, out of the box value, curated content, and grouped by use case. So what you're seeing now is the homepage for IT Essentials Learn. And rather than starting in search and reporting, what we decided was to organize IT operations essentials procedures as validated by our strategists here at, at Splunk into six categories, as you can see on the screen there, from application to cloud infrastructure, which includes VMware and server and OS, so that you can quickly get started with what's most relevant to you. Moving on, IT Essentials work is that infrastructure overview for common IT data sources, most often are historically associated with apps such as Splunk app for infrastructure, uh, AWS app for infrastructure, VMware and Exchange. And what we've done is focus the development of our next platform for metrics for ind uh, indications and warning and logs for investigation in a consolidated experience, rather than those individual apps and add-ons that were developed by different teams at different times with different fields, we wanted to give you a holistic monitoring experience in one location. And that is actually built on ITSI code base. So as you're getting comfortable with IT essentials work, you're actually getting comfortable with ITSI should your IT operations mature to the point where you're ready for that solution as well. Now, this slide is a quick representation of kind of what I mentioned earlier. On the left-hand side, you see six applications or, um, that you know we've used, historically used for those uh, um, monitoring of the pieces of infrastructure. Those six applications have over 440,000 downloads. So we know that a lot of customers find these popular, but as I mentioned, they're developed by different teams at different times and have a significantly different user experience. And they're all gonna be migrated to IT Essentials Work 4.9 by mid-May of 2021. Now, I'm gonna jump quickly into a demo of IT Essentials Work, as I mentioned before. So historically, each one of these tiles would have been a separate app that you would have to drop down and navigate to to conduct your workflow. And as I've said, we're trying to make Splunk easier to use. Internal to Splunk, Splunk Civil Chair is still suboptimal. It, there's efficiencies we could gain, and that's what we're doing. And what we're going to highlight here really quickly is that if I jump into our Nix infrastructure, I immediately get top level metrics that include average CPU usage memory and the key dimensions that kind of tell us what this piece of infrastructure is doing. And if I quickly jump in, these dashboards that you're seeing here for metrics are actually populated from our previous Nix app for infrastructure. And when you switch over from your metrics for what's happening to your logs for why it's happening, these, this is another pre-built dashboard with out-of-the-box content so you can rapidly adopt Splunk for your essential IT operations procedures. Here we see that our deny connections are dropping. We know exactly why they are. If it's a DNS lookup failure, we have uh, HTTP request status errors. 
and we can even see if there's a geographic distribution of those. Now, as I mentioned previously, if you would then wanted to monitor a, say, AWS piece of infrastructure, you would have had to drop down to a separate application and navigate to AWS. But as you can see here, we have all of our AWS EC2 instances also co-located in the same workspace. Similar feel, similar look. Again, one click to out of the box dashboards. And if we also head to our Windows infrastructure, you will see that is populated with a very familiar workspace and out of the box content. So that is IT Essentials work. And as I mentioned before, it is built on ITSI code base. And what we've done is feature flag some of the premium features. And this is important because how we're gonna keep this content fresh is what's called, what is a new Splunk app for content packs. And so if you click on a premium feature and you have not upgraded to IT service intelligence, you will have a you know, call out showing you that premium feature and how to upgrade if that's when you feel, if you feel that you're ready for that in your IT operations journey. And we're gonna quickly jump into content packs and why they're important here shortly. So if you're on those premium legacy apps uh, for, for infrastructure, VMware and Exchange in particular, we have great news for you. Those uh, premium legacy apps are actually going to be included in IT Essentials work available in the cloud today and on-prem at the end of April for free. So um, very excited to be able to have that uh, conversation with you all and try to get you additional value. And we have a timeline here for when they're going to be end of sale, 30 April, last day of support at some point between now and January, 2023, and then end of life, uh, as you can see here. Moving forward, here are free legacy apps for infrastructure. And these are the timelines associated with that as well. Very similar. We're no longer going to uh, end of sale or download 30 April, last day of support, and then our end of life. I'll pause on the screen for folks to keep that. All right. Now, here's something that's very important. Again, it's a, it's a new model for us here at Splunk, and we're really excited about it. Uh, it's going to limit the need for you to download uh, the app or upgrade. We can just push you fresh content every, you know, six to eight weeks is our goal. It's going to give you that cloud-like functionality, even if you're on-prem, so you can continue to get updates to your dashboards, entity types, entity type discovery. And if you have ITSI, your glass tables, KPIs, and service um, services. So um, we're starting with VMware, Exchange, Unix, and Linux. Those will be uh, available on April 30th and then AWS and NetApp by May 5th. And we're working hard, but uh, it's looking like July 31st for Windows infrastructure. Again, these are forward looking statements. Um, we're very, very confident about the April 30th timeline, but if you're gonna make any decisions about your workflow and what you're using to, uh, to achieve these infrastructure monitoring kind of uh, functionality, uh, please keep these dates in mind and the fact that it's a forward looking statement and development is in progress. Okay. So now for the, the slightly more technical part, um, and keep in mind that we are going to continue to release videos uh, to try to make sure that folks have a quick reference to exactly the steps necessary. But here we're gonna give a, you know, one or two layers deeper. How do you legacy, how do you conduct an app migration from those legacy apps for infrastructure to IT Essentials work? Here uh, is the on-prem version. Again, Splunk IT Essentials work will be available on-prem towards uh, the first week of May. What you'll do is download, install, IT Essentials work 4.9 from Splunk base. You're gonna set up the same data ingestion using the appropriate add-on. So if you're a new user, you're gonna to need to download the associated add-on for the piece of infrastructure, whether that's AWS or Windows, et cetera. If you're an existing customer and you're already using those apps for infrastructure, your data migration, your, your data ingest should be um, uh, set up already. And I'll cover that here shortly. You're then going to download and install the Splunk app for content packs from Splunk Base, and then you're going to be able to ac access those uh, dashboards from the dashboard menu. And for cloud customers, um, CloudOps is going to install that for you. 
uh, in your stack and set up the data ingesting you again using that appropriate add-on. And then the content pack and the dashboards will be the same as well. And so SAI migration, again, same thing. Oh, you're going to get a very wash, rinse, repeat feel here. Um, and uh, that's that's what we were going for. We wanted to make this, this transition as seamless as possible. And, um, you know, if you have a significant, you know, investment or uh, in your grouping and, and alerting functionality in SAI, there will be some time required to set that up, replicate that functionality in IT Essentials work, but um, it should be minimal and under a day. And the content library. So again, this is a curated library of content. It's available for IT Essentials work and IT service intelligence. And it's grouped into those use cases and that new and updated content. Again, our goal is to get that to you every six to eight weeks. So what's important to remember here is that whether or not you're an IT Essentials work or IT service intelligence customer, you will download the same content pack or same Splunk, for, uh, Splunk app for content packs. And uh, when you download, if you upgrade to ITSI, when you download that license, that content pack will just be pushing you the same uh, features, the premium features that are associated with ITSI. All right, so let me get a quick drink of water here. And this is a, an attempt to try to distill that into some more pictures. So on our left-hand side is what your environment would look like if you're an existing customer using the AWS add-on for, um, for data ingestion and then the app for AWS for your um, infrastructure um, monitoring functionality. So important to note that this is wash, rinse, repeat for all of those other apps that I mentioned previously. So for the setup, what you're gonna do is disable the app for AWS on the search head. The reason is it's using the same knowledge objects as what you're going to um, download for the IT Essentials work and the Splunk, uh, Splunk app for content packs. So you need to go ahead and remove that. And then you're gonna replace it with IT Essentials work or ITSI and install the Splunk app for content packs on the same search head. And then once you start the search head slash push the bundle, this on the right-hand side will be your infrastructure or your uh, instance. So on the search head, we now have that same AWS add-on, ITE work or ITSI and the Splunk app for content packs. And then in the configuration, ensure the add-on data is forwarded and then update your knowledge objects per the content pack. An example of that is enable data model acceleration. So that is the four to six step process to do the migration from your previous instance if you're an existing user of those legacy apps for infrastructure. Um, and if you're a new customer, this would be what your environment looks like uh, at the forwarder, indexer, and search head. Okay, I'm backwards here. Apologies. All right, and so for our additional resources on Splunk Base, as I mentioned, the IT Essentials Learn app is available uh, today, both for the cloud customers and for our cloud customers and on-prem. And the IT Essentials Work app is available today. Um, I think it was April 16th, April, I'm getting in trouble. And then uh, it's gonna be available on-prem uh, towards the end of April, early May. And then the Splunk app for content packs is also gonna be uh, available at the end of April. And so for additional assets, we have an IT Essentials Learn product brief and an IT Essentials Learn tech talk. And please keep an eye out. So we're gonna be trying to release uh, some shorter videos of us actually doing the process I just mentioned on the previous slide, removing the old, installing the new, and lighting up the dashboards uh, that you are provided in those content packs. So with that, I'm gonna hand it back over to Caitlin and uh, with some further instructions. Awesome, thank you so much, Thomas, for that uh, presentation and demo. Um, before we wrap things up, I wanted to remind everyone that we have an incredible community of Splunk users on our community site. Um, within there, you can search the answers section on IT topics. Um, you can continue the conversation for this talk within the discussion section called Tech Talks, where you'll find all the additional resources as well. And last but not least, check out Splunk Ideas, where you can actually submit new ideas for product enhancements or vote on current ideas from other customers. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedules to join us today. Please tune back in for future Tech Talks. We're really excited to share the series with you. Yep, thanks everybody. Cheers.